Um, welcome to Disorderly Gaming. Uh, so in the in the vlog, there was a guy who uh we fought, and I barely won because of provoke, and I won, and I don't know what this means. So I'm gonna screenshot this, and I'm gonna save it to paint because that is. That's, that's definitely Russian. So I'm going to send this to my friend Ryan later on today. And since he speaks Russian, he can translate for me. Russian words. Anyways, back to this episode. Oh, he unfriended me while I was at it too. He really, was he salt about that? I think he might have been salt. Anyways, um, <laughs> well, this is a nice, lovely way to start an episode. Um, so today we're playing Duelist, and Duelist is a turn-by-turn, -turn sprite-like game that involves strategy and cards. Um, I think the closest thing you can reference it to would be a mixture of Hearthstone and Final Fantasy Tactics. So, to kind of explain, you start with a deck. And usually they give you a starter deck, but since I'm, I since I played this game since 2015, like well I I dropped it, but then I came back to it. You can make your own deck, and you can have 40 cards total, just like in standard Yu-Gi-Oh or if you really want in Magic, I think to some extent. Anyways, um, so you get your units and you get your spells and your artifacts. Your artifacts are basically stuff that goes on top of your general which your general's life is 25 and if once that hits zero you lose. So on top of that uh, they also added in this new uh, little orb thing which I just got enough for an orb so I wanted to check this out because they added a new animation. Ooh, Let's see what I get. Purple. Uh, that's a... Uh... Oh I can Oh, I can click on them. Okay, so so white is common, blue is rare, purple is epic. Let's check out the commons. Let's see, Night Sorrow Assassin for Abyssian. Not bad. Those are pretty good. Ooh, Rebirth for Magmar. Mmm, Song Weaver. Opening Gambit, give a friendly minion. Oh, give nearby friendly minion. Oh, A. Okay, so that's a single. And what's the rare? Silver Tongue Corsair takes no damage from enemy generals. I could actually use that. Now let's see what this is. Lion or Kingdoms. Whenever an enemy general is healed, deal two damage. Okay, sweet. That's pretty cool. And then it goes in your collection, and then you can uh, take a look at it if you want, but just by hovering over it. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Highlights, and then the other one is. I think I passed it, to be honest. Yep, I did. Right, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna play a few games, and we're gonna get a get a, get a feel of um, how well we can do. So I'm gonna take another drink. My voice gets uh very dry when I talk a lot. And. Songhai Oh, and if you guys already haven't t uh, could tell, there are different factions in the game, and my favorite is Songhai due to the fact it's just basically like ninja robots. <laughs> Ooh, we got a big hitter. Not what I wanted, but hey, I can deal with it. All right, so ba bam, move you up, and you're probably gonna. It, so he's either gonna do one of two things: he's gonna use a phoenix on it, or he's gonna chain lightning. So that one has rush, so it's gonna move over to that. Let me see. Sorry for that. One of those sister barges and having having to tell me something. It's fine. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna replace her because I don't really need her right now. Move up. You gotta keep him as far away from the enemy as possible. Aw oh, man, 
I'm getting all the heavy hitters when I don't need them. Okay, okay. Hmm. So next time I'm gonna get four mana, then five, so then I can drop a provoke in front of me if he does anything. Okay. So since that has ranged, I gotta take it out with oh no. Inner focus. Shit. Nope, my one card's gone. Or my one monster's gone. You bastard. Return Return Phoenix. Oh my god! Not what I wanted, but okay. Alright, we'll, we'll settle with that. We'll return another Dragon Bone Golem next turn. We're gonna have five mana on our next turn, so... Another ranged? Holy shit. Teleport a friendly minion up to two units. Okay. Basically, I think I know what he's doing, and if I can get past him quick enough... Hmm... I, I really want to take this out. Fuck that bitch. Okay. So this is back into our favor. So our next turn we'll get six. We'll move up. No wait. Hmm. If we move up. This next spell you cast will cost one. Is he gonna use Phoenix? Yeah, he's gonna use Phoenix Fire. The cost was decreased by one, so he didn't have to spend as much, so it's only fine. And he's just only doing damage to me because... Oh, he's got Rush! Mmm. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I'll give you props on that one, sir. I'll give you much-needed props. But joke's on you. I got a big guy. Ha-ha! <laughs> Ooh, it's even thunderstorming out by my house, too. Sweet! Oh shit! Though I won't lie, I haven't seen a song high sp uh, spell heavy deck in a while. I mean, it's what I used to run back in um in 2015 when the game first or was still in beta. Like I used to run spell heavy song high, but I think they uh, might have updated it a bit. Damn, seven four, not bad, not bad. Ooh, he's blocking the way. He doesn't want to take the beefy hits to the face. Not today. Mm -mm -mm. Not today, motherfucker. Why, hello there. <laughs> ba <-ba -um. laughs> the next hit you take is dead, and you gotta take him out in order to move. <laughs> Come on, get some, get some. You gonna fuck with me? I don't fuck with you. Little bit just nigga. Aww, he did that. Aww, poor. Poor, poor, poor. Oh, he had another Phoenix Fire! Nice! Too bad it's gonna be a waste on your guy, though. Hmm. Another range! Come on, Ian. Can't we just be civil about this for 10 seconds? No? Okay. Why, hello there. I've come to fuck up your day. Again. 
<laughs> okay, for, so those who don't know, um, Zeriel, the life giver, when he summoned anything that was destroyed on his turn, gets that the, uh, my, that was an ally minion gets resummoned, and uh, basically, when it gets resummoned, it, it only gets resummoned if something was destroyed on my turn. Or, I mean, on his turn, that that was a my friendly, non-token unit. Since he destroyed my golem and my, uh, Lady Locke, I was able to get, uh, get by it. Hmm. And we win. Boom. Ba bum. Love boy. Victory. Victory. Hey, we're see hey guys, we're ranked twenty three. We're so close to silver too. Hey, twenty five gold. Ooh, I'm so sorry, I burped. Okay, so how much gold we got? We got 30. So 70 more until we can get another, um, spirit orb. It was me, Dio. Alright, um, those who are, uh, is that the other Abyssian general? Every, uh, every faction has a second general. Hmm. I'm gonna replace a Phoenix Fire. Another beefy hitter, goddamn. They just want me to play all the beefies. Second taking another drink. Hmm. So for my plan, this game. So the idea to stop Abyssian is that you need to stop the uh the Death Watchers, which are Monsters who get plus one plus one to every time something dies. And since Abyssians have a lot of spam heavy abilities, yeah, it's kind of annoying. I wonder if this uh, Abyssian player is getting ready for the uh, the new card coming out that destroys all shadow creep and deals that much. Like, let's say you have four shadow creep on the field, you d you can activate this ability to destroy all that shadow creep, and then oh I didn't even know that was fucking possible okay <sighs> fuck you too then um so shadow creep is like this stasis thing on the field that if a if a minion or general is standing over it, enemy has to be enemy uh, that it deals one damage at the end of your turn, and it deals damage increasing to how many Shadow Creeper on the field. Again, so if there's four, it deals four damage. But the card makes it to where you destroy all that Shadow Creep and deal damage to every single card on the opponent's team. Is she really gonna do it? Deal one damage. Oh, you cheeky little bitch! Just when I thought I was gonna be friends with you, turn around. Oh god, please not that. God fuck me. Um. I'll uh. I'll move over here. Provoke is the best strat. Okay. What's her her bloodborne skill is to deal one damage to an enemy minion if it dies. Okay. Oh fuck! She's gonna turn it into shadow creep because she's gonna aw oh, piece of shit. And then she's gonna get a free provoke off of it. This is shadow creep. Double provoke my life. And her back is covered because of shadow creep. Ugh, so nasty. So, 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 so nasty. 
But I give her props. This is pretty good strat coming out from her. Okay. Sh can she activate that again? No, she can't. She needs to wait one more turn. Hmm. Double provoke, so that's gonna give her time to set up. Hmm. Piece of shit. Okay, so the provoke is actually safe in the corner to the left of me. Draw to fill your action bar. Oh, draw to fill your action bar. My hand is full. Okay. So, what I can do to bypass the time, though, is summon behind... It's it's not gonna be enough. Hmm. I, I wanted to sh save one. Ugh, more shadow creep. I probably should have thought about that one before I did that. Oh shit! No oh, wait. I'm, I'm ballsy, but there might be a reason and a justification behind me being ballsy here. Because if I can corner her, if I can get her in that single corner, my plus 10 monster, or my 10 attack monster will help so much. And she's focusing everything else, and the provoke just fucked me over. Fuck. There's so much provoke in this game. It's it's so helpful too. It sucks. God damn it, she has another one. <laughs> this is not good. This is really, really not good. Okay. That actually helps. Mmm, piece of shit. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I'm left with Chain Lightning needs to come in handy, so like normally an Abyssian deck would be spam heavy, but this one's provoke uh this one's provoke heavy. Meaning that she's stalling till the late game to summon out the big monsters. That's why the that's why the zero ten provoke beasts are just ridiculous to fight. I knew she was gonna Give the nearby enemy friendly minion plus two auto attack. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh I lost. Yeah, it's GG. I waited too long to summon out the 1010 regardless of its power. Ah. Uh, it's okay. You fail and you got to try again, right? Hmm. Oh, yeah, uh, one, another thing, mystery crates and stuff, you kind of need keys for, which cost money, gay, it's alright. Oh well, feel free to donate. <laughs> the fucking, my PayPal information will be right here, password and everything. So let's play again, we'll play one more. Let's see if we can win, let's, uh, let's make it a best two out of three, because we beat the one. Yeah, this is the other Abyssian general.
This is the spam heavy one that I can't I normally expect. Okay. So Tuspor's gonna Yeah, that hand can stay. That that actually seems like a really balanced hand. Excuse me a second, can I take a drink? Okay. <sighs> I need to change my uh icon thing. Janinja. Nindro. Nindro for president. Summon. And turn. Hmm. Who will win? Perfect. Whatever deals. Okay, so so she's going right off the bat if she hits me. Whenever your general deals damage, summon one one wraithling nearby general. I need to get chain lightning and fast. Artifact blade. Fuck. She's not making this easy on me. Replace. Okay. Hmm. If I can get behind her, maybe. Flying this minion, summon. Whoa, 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 what, what? Black locust. After this minion moves, summon a black locust nearby. What? What? Oh, fuck me. Deal two damage to anime general and yet restore three. A okay, I guess. Hopefully she doesn't turn around and just be like, "What bam!" right in the face. Okay, so is she gonna use her Bloodborne spell? Maybe is she? Because if she does, no, she's moving up. Gotta move up in the world, you know. Okay. So that means summon two copies of this minion at a random location. Holy fucking shit, Amoli! What is this deck? I haven't seen these cards before, to be completely honest. But, but also, keep in mind that it's been a while since i played, so... Three, three... I'm not gonna have enough. If I do this... Hmm... This game makes me question. Yeah, as much as I don't like doing that, as much as I really, really don't like doing that. Okay. So if they move in around them, I got a backup plan because this does deals damage to themselves equal to their own attack. So if their attack gets increased or decreased, which means strength in numbers, my friends, strength in numbers. And if I get six next turn, mm, I think I might spring for the push. If she if she doesn't destroy my Kaido. Summon a Wraithling Ninja. Okay. Is he gonna try to take it on? Is he? Yeah, he's gonna try to take it on. 
Wait a minute. Oh, shit. That doesn't look good. No, wait. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. Holy fuck. King shit now. But next turn means I win. If she can't cover her back, that means I win. I win. Let's refund. Let's see what we get. Just to be safe. And we win. Nice! Victory. And we leveled up. What do we get for level 21? Oh. Two wins, five gold, or 15 gold reward. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Did we get enough gold for it? No, we did not. Alright, anyways. Um, that ends up this episode for Duelist, and I plan to play this a lot more in the future, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, so, see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!